Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, mainly last lecture we focused on the uh, two topics we talked that we have mainly two topics, the data manipulation language and the data definition language. Mainly last lecture we focused on the data definition language. In data definition language we learned how to create table, how to add constraints to these tables, how to remove constraints from these tables, how to remove these tables. That's right? Okay. Now, today, our lecture will focus mainly on the uh, structure training language and uh, uh, mainly on the data, uh, data manipulation language. Data manipulation, it means how to interact with the tables, how to uh, make instructions, uh, uh, request for data, and making a specific query. Mainly, uh, I will start how to insert new data or new records in the data, in the data table or in the table. Then we will go through how to select these data and how to make request and the query. Uh, first of all, the select statement, then the update and delete statement, okay? Then we have three different statements. In the select statement, we will make a complex select statement, okay? Everything is clear up to now? Okay. Is there any questions regarding last lecture? No, no, no. Everything is clear? Any questions? First of all, we said we have the data definition language and the data manipulation. We have finished the section which is regarding the data definition, how to create the tables, constraints, and etc. Now, today we will focus about reviewing some instructions and quick we will review some instruction in the data definition language. Then we have to go through deeply in the data manipulation language because all of your work will based on the data manipulation language. In the data manipulation language, we have three main uh, queries. First the one, which, which is the select. Then, and we have the delete. In the select statement, we have the simple select statement and the complex select statement. In selecting from one table, which is the simple uh, select statement, that you are selecting specific records or specific fields with a condition. Now. I will start first of all, as I said, how to insert a new data in the field. First of all, we will make that command. As you see, this is a simple statement, simple select statement. If I said select star from tab, tab which is the tables, okay? I will and to select everything from the tables. It show me by everything the table name, the table type, the cluster. Okay? <laughs> now this select statement is a simple select statement. Now uh, as you see we I have a, a lot of tables. I will ask you to make the first table which is EMP. So I will show you the records of the EMP. 
Now, please apply this, creating this table. Do you remember how to create the table? Yeah. Somebody said no. Okay. <laughs> now, for creating the table, we write the following command. Create table. Now, the table name. Okay. Then we have... Now, when you are typing the comment, this is by mistake, by the way, okay? It's not a part of the comment, okay? I will edit it, but I will finish all the comment first, then I will edit it and change the, uh, correct the mistake. So, will you follow me in creating this table because we will use this table on all our instructions. This is how we create the first table that we will use. Now, this is a command that we use to create table. There's another command which is simpler. For example, I'm trying to copy everything from another table. And in this command, I will write create table, table name as select start from another table name. This command will help, help you to make a copy of the records and the field and everything and copy it on a new table, okay? As you see, this is, for example, employee three, which is a table, another table. How I created as a copy of the employee. For example, I said select start from EMP, and then I say select start from EMP underscore three. All of them are the same. I make a copy of everything, and I store it in the new table. Is it clear? 
Do it again. Repeat it again. Okay. Yeah. Make it bigger. This is the biggest thing. Right? Okay. Now, <coughs> I will rewrite that command again because some some of you haven't catch it. Okay. The command how to create a copy of table another table. I will creating new table and copy all the data. File create table. Here we fill the table name as select star from the other table. Okay? Is it easy? Okay. Create the table, the table name that you want to create, the new table, as select star, select everything from the first table. Okay? Now. Is it clear? Have you created the table? The text file? You mean the, the command? This one? Is it clear? On the text file, it's clear. On the text file, you can see it's clear. On the text file. Okay. Now, after creating the table, now we will insert new values. Okay? The first command, which is inserting new values in this table. There's two ways to insert a new value. Either as I showed previously, which is I select everything from another table and copy it to the new table, or inserting for a specific record, or inserting for all the record ones. Okay? Now, have you finished copying? Okay. Now, the idea behind select create table using select statement, that even the constraints, you copy even the constraints. You copy everything. Even the conditions that you put in the, that table, you will copy it to the new table. Okay? Move to the insert statement. Now I will type the insert statement here, step by step, because we have the table okay. columns here. The, we need these columns. Now insert into. This is the syntax of the command insert. Insert into the table name. Now, if I want to specify which record that I want to insert, which uh, column that I want to insert, I have to put it here. For example, I want to insert the EM number and the EM email values. I only inserted the employee name 
an employee number and employee name. Now, if I would like to insert everything, I want to fill all the records, values. all the values. I should write values after the uh, only values? Yeah, after the employee name, uh, after the table name, <coughs> just values, and you have to put everything in order. Try to apply it on the computer here, not, not just write it down. Try to practice it, okay? Everything you will find it in the manual. So the manual book, the, the professor handle, everything you will find it inside it. Then no need to rewrite anything again. Just follow the steps to make clear that you can do it on the Oracle. Okay? All these instructions already exist. I think page 34. 34, you will start seeing the select statement and <coughs> all the instructions. Now, if we write it like this, we have to specify all the columns, okay, and put each value for the each column in order, because the oracle, it will the compiler will read each column, uh, each value value by value and store it in each uh, specified column, okay. Everything is clear up to now. Now, when I have, when I'm inserting all the values without specifying the column name, it means the compiler, the Oracle, will read each value from this 
values and just compare it to one of these columns, okay? Direct match. So, for example, if I put by mistake here a character and this is a number, it will give me an error message, okay? Now, I'm just typing comments. You will put it one by one. I'm just putting all of them so you can apply one by one. Okay? What about the values? Is it reserved uh, key? Like yes, it's a keyword. So if I have, if I want to insert only one value, you should have I write value or values? It's values, but you have to specify here the column name that you want to enter the value for. For example, I want to enter the value for employee number. So you have to put here employee number only and write values okay. and then put the value. Okay? But you have to make sure there's some constraints like not null. It means it specifies you are not you are not allowed to put empty value. Okay? If there are any constraints and insert in the data, for example, like not null value, it will make sure that this value is not empty. For example, if I put not null in the name, it will not allow me to put empty value for the name. Okay? Now, the most important thing now that select the statement, which is the most important thing that we have to deal with now. Now, select it means picking something up from the table. For example, I would like to select everything on the table. I will write select start from EMP1. It means bring me back everything stored in this table. Okay? Now, another is instruction which is select, for example, EMP and O from employee one. Okay. What does this mean? It means that only bring me all the employee numbers from the table. I want to only see the employee numbers. Okay? Uh, without start? No, a start, it means everything. Here I specified which column I would like to see. There is a problem with this thing. Because this is the 11 characters and you define as the 10 characters. Yeah, there's, but it will be, it will eliminate the last characters. Okay, you, maybe you can modify, modify the tables. And just expand the size of this uh, field. Now, this select statement will bring me everything in the column employee number. Now, 
Yes. Seven point two. It means it's a decimal value. Sorry, it's a number. Seven values. Five of them are decimals, and two after the comma. It's a, a float value. It's a seven. Five of them for the decimal number, and two of them after the point. It's point. Okay. For example, seven point two. It means I will show you. Now, what does it mean, the value, what is it, this one, 7.2, uh, comma 2. It means when you enter a number, any number in the table, it will make sure that, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, it will make sure that five of these are the decimal value, and two of these are the floating value, okay? Okay, is it clear? Yeah, you can put only decimal number without any floating. So if you remove this, this number from here, if you, if you remove that two from here, it means all this number is a decimal value, okay? <coughs> There's no floating inside it. The UP student. Okay. This is five. This five and the total of them seven. <coughs> Thank you. 